Hi, welcome to my channel. So today in this video we are going to repair laptop adapter. Laptop adapter is basically SMPS switching mode power supply. The problem is that it's totally dead. So if you really want to repair the your laptop adapter, stay to the end of the video. Otherwise, leave. So let's start. First of all, in any circuit, in any circuit you are going to repair, you have to visually analyze the physical condition of all the components that if any of the component is bulked or cramped especially this main cap is bulky or not and all the components as I can see none of the component is cracked or any capacitor is bulky so first of all we have to check the fuse here's the fuse this small this one this one is a fuse so first of all we have to check the fuse it's okay or not set the multimeter on continuity mode fuse will give beep sound if it's okay as you can see that it's giving beep sound the fuse is okay so let's connect the live wires for its testing I'm, uh, I'm using the series board always check your circuits with the series board so if there, uh, there is any problem the comp any component will not get any damage None of the component will get damaged if it's, there is something wrong in the circuit if you are using series board. So let's connect it. As I turned on, the series bulb is not glowing. Means there is no shortage in the circuit. So let's check the voltage path that where is the blockage. Set the multimeter first to AC voltage. Sorry, I have to connect the plug back. So please carefully handle your circuits when connected to the live wire. Don't accidentally touch the circuit, otherwise you will get a shock. So the multimeter is on AC voltage mode. I set it on 600 volts AC. So first of all. You can see that it's come here comes the 240 volt input voltage on the other side of the fuse is also 240 volts and it goes to the this inductor let's check on the other side of the inductor yes then trace the path and let's continue towards the capacitor this one this capacitor you can see that there's also 240 volt so this 240 volts goes to the next big inductor this one here also the 240 volts And uh, the other points of the inductor are here. As you can see that there is no voltage. It's the one side of the inductor, there is 240 volts, and on the other side, there is no voltage. So, the first problem is here that this inductor is not working. So, let's disconnect and wait for the capacitor to discharge. As I can show you this capacitor which is charged As you can see that the voltage is dropping always wait for some time to let the capacitor discharge then you can touch the circuit easily so here is the inductor these are the pins input pins of inductor and these two are the output pins let me show you with the continuity mode
this side of the conductor is working and if I connect to the other side that there is no continuity that this side is not okay the inductor is faulty so first of all we have to change the inductor I am also having the bunch of other SMPS and I will take inductor from one of it here's, here's the inductor the heat shrink tube so I will replace it with this The inductor is desoldered. Let's take it out. First, check this inductor, it's okay or not. See that one side is okay, second one is also okay. So this inductor is good. So let's replace the faulty inductor with a good one. Now the inductor is replaced. So let's check with the series board again. The bulb turned on for a mic one microsecond or more. So, if I turn the circuit on the other side, you can see that this indicator light is turned on. So, the circuit is working good now. Let's check the output voltage some around 18, 19 or 20 volts DC so yes as you can see that it's around 20 volts so our charge is working now so in this way you can repair your laptop adapter SMPS the problem as we have seen that the problem was of only this inductor so hope you enjoyed the video if you have any more questions about smps repairing you can also ask me in the comment section i will reply you as soon as possible so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next video